Okay. No, we connect the taxi pod to the cafe A about the well. Then the left we can uh, we need uh, about five seconds. Then this screen will uh, become the Android system automatically. YouTube videos. Also, you can uh, use a new button to control the volume. Also, PBS. Next. Also, we can use online maps. Go to the next gas station. By this device, you can use two screens on the one screen. Let me show you how to do it. This half screen, uh, we can see the navigation. This half screen, we can see the videos. This is this dot. You can see so many. This time we can play games on this screen by our uh, smart box. The phone, Bluetooth. Uh, to this device, you can see here, connected. Uh, then we can dial phone directly. It has two ways. Uh, first, we you can use this SIM card to dial phone calls. Second, we can use the, uh, this cell phone Bluetooth phone card. Uh, by touch this, we can use the Rally's Cafe and the Rally's and Auto. <laughs> also, we can use this uh, iPhone Max. Hi Siri. Hi Siri. Go to the gas station. Yes. Hi guys, today I show you an uh, interesting and amazing product. It is a company air box. It can fit for car with original weird company function. After using this device, your car will become an Android system. You can watch online YouTube videos, Netflix, and uh, you can download many applications from the Google Market. So let's see this. This one, it's our ear box. Okay, it has uh, three ports. This one is the SIM card port. This one is for it's a USB Type C port. This one is uh, for uh, for TF card. Um, for SIM card, I show you how to connect. Please, uh, we need to uh, connect like this uh, direction. Okay. Okay, and for the SIM card like this. And this is the USB cable for connecting our device to the original screen. Uh, we need to connect this Type C port. Always, always connect to this this port. And this uh, this side we need to connect to the original CarPlay function, CarPlay function USB port. Okay. By the way, if your car is a Type C port, we have adapter. You can use this adapter. Then connect to the original Type C port.